As I've been reflecting on suicide and the spiking suicide rate among people in the fourth quarter, particularly baby boomers who seem kind of lost as their beauty and their youth fades and as perhaps the addiction or the loneliness and the high divorce rate all begins to bring this deep loneliness or sense of despair. In attending my friend's funeral after he committed suicide, the one thing that really, really struck me in being in that group of 60, 80 people, most of whom were high school and college friends, an ex-wife, and some family members, was when somebody ends their life by their own hand and in such a tragic way, it leaves behind this strange fog, this mist of confusion of people trying to make sense of this tragic loss, of things unsaid, of questions unanswered, of unresolved emotional things, of brokenness that never got repaired. It just leaves behind all that unresolved, and you can experience it even in the people who are there. Nobody wins in that suicide. That's why in the fourth quarter, it's so helpful to remember that key of forgiving. Forgive often. Forgive before you die. Forgive the people who hurt you. Ask for forgiveness of those whom you have harmed to help bring resolution to that and to settle in with some peace rather than any confusion in your life. Confusion doesn't need to prevail. Peace comes through the grace of forgiveness.